Division 2 Agents, this is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 build video. Now in the last build video, and if you haven't seen it, you definitely want to check that out with the one shot body shot sniper build. That was super fun to run. But for me personally, you guys know me, run and gun builds are my go-to. That is my playstyle. That's how I love to play this game. And I'm bringing you another one with the St. Elmo's engine in Striker. Now this was an awesome combination and the damage was ridiculous. So let's go ahead and go over these pieces. Of course we got four piece Striker, two piece bonus plus 15% weapon handling, three piece plus 15% rate of fire, which takes our uh, St. Elmo's engine up to 978 for its RPM. So that's very nice. And then the four piece strikers gamble weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65% stacking up to 100 times one stacks loss per second between zero and 50 stacks two stacks loss per second between 50 and 100 stacks and this mask is rolled with max armor crit damage with a max crit chance mod and 11% for the expertise and of course, we've got the backpack row with max weapon damage crit chance with the max crit chance mod. And the backpack does have the talent risk management. Increases total weapon damage gained per stack of Striker's Gamble from 0.65% to 1%. So we will get up to 100% extra weapon damage with this talent. Then the gloves, 11% for the expertise row. Road with max weapon damage and crit damage. Then I do have Fox's Prayer, max armor, damage to target out of cover, crit damage, and 14% for the expertise. Holster, max armor, 11% for the expertise roll, and max crit chance. Then I do have one piece of Fenris. Brand set bonus gives us plus 10% assault rifle damage. And this is road with max weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance with the max crit damage mod, 11% for the expertise roll. And the talent is obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for five seconds, stacks up to 25 times. So just increasing our weapon damage even more with crit hits. And we are at a max crit chance, so we will get the full benefit from this talent. Skills that I'm using, I do uh, utilize the Banshee Pulse. Launches a forward arc of pulse energy that disorients enemies caught in the wave, penetrates cover. Then I do have a 15% radius mod and a 15% effect duration mod. And then of course the shield, just to give us some more survivability, two 4.9% shield health mods and a 5% holstered regen mod. And then our other star of the show is the St. Elmo's engine. This is the new exotic AR, 16% for the expertise roll, rolled with max assault rifle damage, health damage, damage to target out of cover. And of course the talent Actum S, shooting an enemy with this weapon will give one stack. At 100 stacks, the next magazine will be filled with shock ammo. So yeah, it's an awesome gun. Then for our secondary, we do have a shotgun 612, expertise at 13%, roll with max shotgun damage, damage to armor, damage to target out of cover. With Optimus, weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. We can take a look at the stats. So like I said, we are at max crit chance, which is 60%. And then we do have 125% crit damage, 75 headshot damage, 21 health damage. And for the shotgun, 50% uh, crit chance, 105 crit damage, 65 headshot damage, 12% armor damage. All right, we'll look at the specialization. We are using Gunner. Killing enemies grant 10% armor. Every third reload is 50% faster. Armor kits repair 100% armor and grant 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. And the Banshee Pulse that we are using with the two mods. Generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members recover 5%. 10% weapon handling while not moving need to be motionless for one second. 50% pulse resistance and rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for five seconds. 
just giving us even more RPM, which is beautiful. So yeah, that is the build, my friends. If you have not tried the St. Elmo's engine with strikers yet, I would definitely recommend doing that. You do insane amount of damage. Now, you don't need three reds if you don't want three reds. I did get into some sticky situations. You'll see in the gameplay, but this is technically the fastest I ever ran Lincoln Memorial. But there are a few, few times to where, you know, I got in a sticky situation, but the armor on kill from our specialization definitely bailed me out. And honestly, you don't need this many reds on this bit because you're getting so much damage from the striker gear set. You could change two of these to blue. Honestly, you could change them all to blue and still be fine, but you know, I would keep at least one red on, but you're gonna shred them regardless. So yeah, let me know how you guys are running it and however you tweak it to your personal playstyle. We would love to hear that. So that's going to do it for this build video, my friends. Hope you guys are doing good, staying safe out there. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sons forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter.
ever since I turned the memorial into a base. Schematics Isaac pulled upstairs. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders. head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. We would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. <laughs> 